knights play an important part in the crusades. There were nine of these battles for control of Middle East between 1096 and the late 1200s. Overall, the crusades were un unsuccessful. Muslim kept control of Jerusalem and the surrounding area. Knights also were important in the Hundred Years' War, 1337 to 1453, between England and France. In 1453, France won the war and reclaimed most of the territory that England captured during the earlier battles. Knighthood started to decline in the 1500s. By that time, craftsmen had discovered a better way to make gunpowder. Grand cannons and guns, which could be fired from long distances, replaced swords and daggers on the battlefield. The accuracy of longbows and crossbows improved, which also allowed fighting from a distance. Armies no longer relied as much on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kings raised large standing armies of soldiers, which were easier to maintain and train than armies of knights. Instead of fighting knights, oversaw villagers and farmers, the title of knight became a symbolic honor. But you can still find references to knights today. The Knights of Columbus in is a Catholic service organization formed in 1882. Its founding members pledged to defend their faith their country and their families. Some knightly organizations are thought to be secretive. The Knights Templar was founded around 1119 to protect Christian pilgrims visiting Jerusalem. They became powerful and rich and leaders such as kings and popes wanted to stop them. Many Templars were burned at the stake in 1307. In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the group. The mysteries and stories about them continue, such as in the best-selling book, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Today in England, you will find symbolic knighting ceremonies. The king or queen grants honorary knighthood to people who have made important contributions to society and culture. Recent nightings include singers Elton John and Paul McCartney and actors Sean Connery and Ian McKellen. Men receive the title Sir. Women such as actress Judy Dench are called Dame. More than 500 years after the last nights fought in battle, they continue to capture our imaginations. People at the Renaissance fairs around the country reenact the time of the nights. At a Renaissance festival, you can watch jousting tournaments and buy swords and armors. Knights are even found in science fiction. The popular Star Wars movie feature Jedi Knights who fight to protect the universe. In the Middle Ages, people admired knights for their bravery, courage, and position in society. They were seen as defenders of countries and people. Even though knights no longer fight battles and joust in tournaments, they, the ideals they stood for still live on.